NDTV exclusive, a 27-point internal report prepared late last year by the Minister of State for Defence, Subhash Bamre, is a stinging indictment of the way the Defence Ministry functions and how defence procurement systems may be in tatters. Vishnu Shom has all the details. Well, this damaging report by the Ministry of Defence clearly outlines uh, a host of problems ranging from multiple and diffused structures with no single point accountability, multiple decision heads, duplication of processes, delayed comments, delayed execution, no real-time monitoring, no project-based approach and a tendency to fault find rather than to facilitate in the process of procuring weaponry. As a result, the government's flagship Make in India initiative for the defence sector continues to languish at the altar of procedural delays. The 27-point internal report by the Minister of State for Defence, Dr. Subhash Bhamre, is an indictment of the processes within the Defence Ministry. Of a total of, for example, 144 schemes contracted in the previous three financial years, only 8 to 10 percent fructified on time. From the stage of request for proposal to the final deal closing by the competent financial authority, delays are 2.6 times to 15.4 times the maximum permissible time. At the level of trials conducted by the forces, the average time taken is 89 weeks, which is three times more than what is authorized. The cost negotiation committee stage sees delays about 10 times more than what is allowed. Shockingly, even if a weapon system actually makes it through this bureaucratic quagmire, an acquisition can be shot down when the file reaches the Ministry of Finance because currently the Ministry of Finance or the Cabinet Committee on Security is apparently not aware of the services capital acquisition plans prepared by the Defence Ministry. Now just last week, 17 years after the Air Force stated a requirement for 126 modern fighters, the Defence Ministry shot down a process to build more than 100 in India. The two main firms, Lockheed Martin of the United States with its F-16 and Sweden's Saab competing with its Gripen EF jet. Now, with the government decision to broaden the scope of this contract to include even larger fighters, this will be the latest example of a deal which goes many, many years, decades in this case, beyond when it first started to when it may eventually end.